What's up? Welcome back to Brothers Forge Gaming, playing Elden Ring. Right now we're going to investigate Groveside Cave. Probably take a look at some of these other caves. I'm looking for uh, moss, cave moss, and sure enough it grows in a cave. So that uh, there's actually a vendor right here I forgot about. He sells a short bow and a couple recipes that allow you to make fire arrows and uh, a couple other useful items there and a recipe to build the, or to create the antidote for curing poison and so forth. Uh, another video I want to do here is there's a, like a gargoyle key, a sword key you can use right here that uh, I I unlocked it, but uh, I needed to be able to cure poison. So I'm going to go back and maybe do that in this video. I, I was thinking about maybe doing that one on its own. What's up, easy? So a couple different things we're going to be doing there. A couple caves and maybe some of these other things. I got some markers for some battles I need to go back and check out. Um, I just ended up there's this wagon that travels here i got a video i don't know how i'm gonna do it it didn't work out as i planned i got kind of ambushed but there's a giant a couple giant carrying undead things carrying this uh, wagon similar to what you saw over here with a treasure chest on it actually had a great axe in it if you're wondering totally a cool fight to get in get that great axe and a couple other things there was a camp i think it's right here it has the epic rapier the like great rapier i'm not strong enough to use it yet but i will be soon Anyhow, let's get into this cave, see what it's all about, and, you know, we'll go check out some of these other caves. I don't know if it's a pure boss fight or, or what's going on in here. So we will see. Try crouching. That guy's crouching. Wolf ahead. Lots of wolves. Wolves? Wolves. That's a big dog right there. I could shoot him. Oh, he saw me. Oh, there's my cave moss. Oh, shite. Didn't work out. Actually, I need to kill these wolves to get those bones, too, so it works out. Whoa. Oh, there's the big one. Jerk. That is strong. Alright. There we go. Cave moss. That's what I need. Let's take a look at my item crafting real quick. So what I was talking about, I, was, I picked up the pattern for this, or the recipe, and some of these cool flaming arrows here. But yes, to answer your question, is you got about an hour here, so check out a few different things. So that's what I'll be doing. I know you, I noticed you just called, but I was just getting set up there. And I was like, ah, oh well. I figured you'd talk to me on the stream. Grass ahead. So this was the good cave for grass. Oh, purple item. Do I want to jump down there, or should I go around? I think I'm going to jump down here. I'll probably be able to get back up, right? Yeah, there you go. Cracked pot. Uh, I actually found some of those, or I bought some, so that was the first one I have been able to find. Again, you need those to do item crafting. You never know what's hiding in here. It turns out there's a good use for smoldering butterflies as well to make those flaming arrows, so be grabbing them up. If you see them. Oh no. They hang out around fireplaces and... Uh, you know, where they like the cooking fires and... Ooh, glowstone, that sounds good. There's also a spot where I saw some magma slugs. They had some. And the shadows freak me out sometimes. Golden rune, nice. Silver fly. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I picked it up off the off the wall. <laughs> some more of those, yeah. So this isn't a bad little place to come, but praise the message. Not a bad place to come if... <laughs> magma. If you want to get some bones for fletching, get some cave moss action going on. Spanish fly is always good. Do I make you honey, baby? Yeah. Alright, so... I think that is where I was thinking about going down. Alright, so maybe there's more to this cave. Maybe it's a small cave. Caves usually freak me out, so I, I wait to go in them. Legs. Yeah, you want a light in here. It's too dark without it. Okay, so 
Maybe some kind of boss fight. We'll check it out. If I get wrecked, I get wrecked. It happens in this game. Beyond pickle, try rolling. If I only had a pickle, <laughs> whatever the hell that means. Alright, so I don't it's not like I have a ton of souls if I lose them in here. It would be nice to have not used a potion, but such is what happens sometimes. So we get overweight, I need another point in equipment load so that I don't have to switch all this crap all the time. I almost wonder if I should run out and run back in. Try to avoid those wolves because I am hurt. Don't need to be fighting a boss so hurt. Probably just be easier to ditch the torch. Won't be able to roll, but it's okay. So let's go down. I could avoid all those fights and just run straight there. Possibly. Which is what I will do. Uh, dude, I got about an hour, so uh, we'll see how this works out. We'll see. I didn't see anybody to summon, so we will uh, attempt. These are supposed to, you know, the summoning marks are kind of supposed to show up here. I have not seen any co-op summoning. There are items you can use to improve the summoning. I haven't used one yet to check that out. I've only seen the NPCs to summon so far. I could get the cave moss again. Ah, oh, he still got me. Jerk. He's got me twice. Rude. Oh well. <laughs> Did you pick it up? Let's traverse the mist. Beastman of Fazam. Azulia. Oh, come on. That is not what I meant to do starting out the boss fight. Hitting the wrong button. I was pretty sure I equipped a shield, but I guess I just unequipped my torch. Oh, there's my shield. Wow. I have a feeling that meat cleaver is not going to feel too good. Oh, it got me on the backswing. I should be able to jack this guy up pretty good. wonder if I can mount up in here. Nope. Oh, that takes so long to summon. Get him, wolves. Shit. Whoa, lunging attack. Break him down. See, I think because it's a new kind of mechanic in this series, of entry in the series, is I want to pump up the summoning, but I think it's kind of like a... Oh, a flame drake's talisman. That seems pretty cool. I think that it is a... Uh, it's like a cleric ability, which I don't happen to be. Are you still in my water? Go ahead, sweetie. Oh man, my wolves got dismissed. Because as a solo player as well, I don't believe you can do the summons if you're summoning other players. I can't remember if that's what it said, the action summons, that is. So if I'm going to be doing solo a lot, it'd be good to have that juiced up. I have seen things where people are, are, are pissed that there's a connectivity issue. Oh, return to entrance. I've never seen one of those before. That's cool. So it's not a site of grace, but it is a return to entrance. Looks like this might go deeper. Guard counter. I wasn't sure how that works on bosses. I haven't. Usually you can't block or do counters on bosses, but maybe it works. Try sorcery. What is that? Yeah, dude, it's a really awesome game, and, and it allows you to kind of level up and stuff in a way that some of the other ones maybe didn't. A little easier. Just so you can get a better playstyle feel for the thing. Alright, well I do need cave moss again and arrows, so maybe I'll go kill some more wolves. But this is a good place to come and grind for those items I was telling you about. Plus there's a, a few little things in here and a... I'm not really sure why we fought this boss. Just to do it. A little payment plan, huh? That'd be cool, you guys buying a house? Well done. 
Well, I kind of want to take this, but I'm going to go kill the rest of those wolves first. Get my cave moss, because I need it. It's pretty dark in here without the light. Is it a dental plan? What? So no noticeably the the larger enemies mid bosses big bosses. Oh damn man. Oh, nice, man. Okay, yeah, we talked about that. I know it's on the on the low, but dude, that's rough, man. Uh, we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to talk about that a little later. The other thing, or both things, I'll give you a call a little later today. Whenever I get this caves cave dwelling spelunking action underway, where's the rest of this moss? I think that was all of it. Yeah, I know. It seems to come that way often, doesn't it? I'm going to go do this return to entrance thing and see what it's all about. I just wanted to grab up the moss. I don't think there's a limited amount of times things spawn when you when you reset. But I do remember in one of the Dark Souls games, there was something kind of like that. And, and that's why you would you would have to use those bonfire things to, to like regrow some of the stuff that you can only get a certain amount of. So I don't notice if, if that's the deal or if it's cyclical or what. Uh, but I have noticed I've been kind of farming sheep to get their bones to make arrows and stuff, but they don't seem as plentiful, so I don't know. Maybe there's only a certain amount of respawns on those guys. Let's see what happens. They're just going to take us like a warp? Oh, okay. Yeah. It is a shortcut. I don't know if I thought maybe it would give me something. Alright, so we don't have enough for a level. Not even close. I could use a few items. I don't like to use all those souls, but we'll see what happens when I get to the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and need this. Better to have a shield than no shield. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna take that. I thought I was gonna shoot that boss for some reason. Actually, let me see what I got here. I could use ten of those and get pretty close. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna do ten now. So I need to use more than 10. Maybe if I go kill a couple things out here in the woods. Alright, so that should get me close. So what the um, what you were saying about the potential or the uh, old well that purchase you're talking about are you, uh, they're going to let you Kind of pay as you go. That's awesome, man. Man, I was really messing with that. I 
hunt that deer down. I thought I saw him somewhere. Yeah, that should be enough, right? Yeah, okay. Here we go, hunt these guys down. I need your bones. Wow, I missed. I have two. You gotta, these dragonflies have parts you need too. I, I think I wanted to come in here. There's something in here I wanted to kill. Maybe not. We'll go check it out. Should be able to level up here. Not really sure what that point of that cave is. Like I said, you get a few items, you need those bugs, the moss. I need one more strength point to use the better sword, but I also need one more point of endurance, so we'll get that. Now we can check out the new weapon if I'm if I can even hold it. Let's check it out. So this is what I was kind of something I was showing you earlier in uh, something that I'd found, the great Epi. Epi? Epi. I don't know. Anyway, it makes me heavy load. So I probably won't be able to use it with the torch. Yeah, alright, well, we'll go check it out, and I have to use the smaller shield for it for now, so I do need some points in endurance, but let's check this thing out. It says it's supposed to act like a spear, because I can keep my guard up while attacking, which is always nice, and that might work out pretty good, too, with the counter block mechanics, and I thought it was more of a parry weapon previously, but see, the problem is it's hard to hit. Oh, who saw me? Let's see how that works. Because then it sets you up for a good backstab, because you get more out of the backstab with a pointed weapon, I'm noticing, than you do with the mace I've been using. But for the life of me, I can't hit this thing. There we go. That's 200 souls every time you get one of those. Not bad. Alright, so I'm liking this thing so far. Get back here. Oh, somebody's after me. Huh? Yeah, the flail mechanic in this is really good, man. It, you can, like, swing it around and uh, do damage as you're swinging it around. It's pretty cool. Yeah, these guys are crazy. Alright, well, let's get to it. I can hunt bones later. Let's get over to this cave. Since that was so much fun in that cave, let's go check out this cave. I know there's another boss fight in here, so... Well, I don't know, but I'm assuming because there's a boss fog. We'll check out this weapon more later, but it is pretty neat. Check it out. It's got, uh, it looks nice. The longer rapier. Worthy find, I'd say. Get my flail going. I did do that plus two as well, so that's nice. Alright. So again, there's one of these summoning pools. I was pretty sure I was online. Yeah, you actually, you have to unlock it, you buy it. It's only like 300 souls or something. You buy it from one of the merchants. I think he's in the cathedral. But uh, it's it's very similar to a Souls game in the, in the kind of the layout of the of which way you can go. Because ultimately you really can't go to the hardest parts of the game first. I mean, you can try. And you, and you could kind of always do that in the Souls games. It's pick a direction and run, but in a sense, like at certain points you get to the thing, you can't bypass certain spots without beating really hard bosses, and I haven't really run into that so much in this game yet. I mean, there's definitely going to be some spots where you have to have killed certain bosses to get past, but I mean, I can zoom out. I'll show you the map in just a second if it lets me look from here. So, you know, I, you, I've done all this basically gone over here, you know, done all these different things without fighting. There's a boss right here I have to fight that I lost to early in the game. I was like, I think I was level one trying to fight this guy, and I got him about halfway down, so it should be a different story next time I go to fight him, but, but that's kind of what I was mentioning in terms of, like, you just get all this different ability to go through here, find different items, do things, build your play style, figure out your character more than you would have gotten in, in some of the kind of the other in entries into the Souls games. Okay, I kind of should have snuck up on that guy. Oh, he's going to smash me with that. <laughs> Get out of there, dude. Come on, I'm stuck on a rock or something. Jeez. Do what I say. Not, sometimes they roll like crazy people. 
I kind of hurt myself. I started out the game with the as the wretched that like you got nothing. You start with a club, which is at least they start you with a club because you know, you're gonna need that. I feel like I could have went a different way in here. Probably want to go back down that way. But I had more. I had to invest more in items and things early in the game, which was cool because okay, so similar. There's a ledge up here. And I think this is the beginning. It just kind of took me longer to get started, but it was fine because I was kind of messing around with mechanics and such. Okay, so that's the entrance. Damn caves. I need a map. I need a cave map. But, I mean, check this cave out. Like, this is so badass. I mean, got stalactites, mites. Which are those small ones, the big ones? You tell me. These are called something, too. I think it starts with a C. We were just at Turtle Bay checking that out. It was really cool. Savannah liked that a lot. It's a cool place to go. I actually think I can get you in. I have a pass. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely the parry abilities in here. Hey, a land octopus ovary. Those are those big octopus you see uh, out there, and you need those crafting really good items, so um, do check them out. Okay, so here's the, probably the boss. We can get a summon, which is nice. The gold summons, I believe, are like the NPCs. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. So basically, that looks like all we got, and I could have dropped down from up there. Quick re refresh to the boss. Alright, I don't have the ashes, though, so maybe I'll get them when I go in here. So let's fight another cave boss as we enter here. Get the better shield going. I think we're good. Nope. Alright. It's dark now, though, but see, I can't tell if I have my shield. There we go. Old Knight Istvan, summoning the Cooperator. Try Wolf. Well, if it lets me summon, I will. Are you here? Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Praise the sun. I don't know how to do the taunts in this, but all right, let's check it out. Some baddie gonna jump from the ceiling and jack us up? We'll find out. Oh, great! It's a wolf pack. Man, I can't summon my wolves. Oh shit, he got me. I'm trying to summon him while this guy got away from me, but no. Wolf pack! Well, I just wanted to get in there and rack shot. Get him, old knight, Istvan. Shit, he, I don't know what that purple is. I think they're exploding my wolves or something. Nice. Wait, how are you not dead? Oh, I thought he was almost dead. Need some help. Clear the mobs, clear the ads. Oh, shit. Damn, there's a lot of these guys. They're strong. We got one more. Oh, I guess those... I thought the large guys were the ads. Or were the bosses. I guess they were the ads. Shit. Oh, he's doing a spell. Hit him. Alright, we got some tailoring tools and a sewing needle. I've been picking up string. So that's awesome. I can Maybe I can make some clothes, dude. That's going to be rad. Sewing needle... And they've added more things like crafting as well, so uh, that's something you really didn't get in the other game too. It's, it's making it feel a lot more like your standard kind of, you know, I don't know, modern game. <laughs> it's hard to even say RPG anymore because everything's an RPG, right? So like your like your any game, because even your survival horror Fallout games and stuff, you know, they're or a Wasteland Apocalypse, Far Cry any of those games, Monster Hunter, they're all kind of very similar. So it's just feeling more more like that. I guess they're maybe making it more mainstream. Right, more MMO without the M, extra M. And, uh, I mean, you can. I think you can have up to, like, three or four people in your party, but definitely, definitely more like that. More mainstream than you get with 
some of the earlier entries in the series. I did it. Keep moving. Do I need my? No enemy ahead, but there is some moss. It's too dark. I'm freaking out. You are freaking out, man. Oh, it's just. Oh, hey, actually, what could there be? I was thinking this might go across to the other side of the lake, which would be cool. Or the ocean. Yeah, they lied to me and they said there was no enemy up here. Smoldering butterfly. How dare you scream at me. Oh, shit. Trapped. Okay. Did I make it? Okay, cool. So it does go... Oh yeah, that's one of the merchants I was talking about. I think I showed that at the beginning of the video. So it does go to this other side. I don't believe you can go through this. So I believe that if you look at the outer blue here, that's kind of the coastline where it comes up and then anything else you drop off in. Like, I really wanted to go try to get this barrel, um, but I don't think you can walk out past, past the dark blue. So yeah, kind of like this. It's pretty freaky to get close to the edge. Super reminds me of Kingsfield right here, right, dude? You know it does. And they got the octopus out here and everything. Oh no. Oh, stupid crab. Stay calm. All these damn crabs are doing out here. They gotta have something, right? No items. There's turtles. I didn't want to kill a turtle. So these crabs have nothing. Or their drop rate is awful. Oh, I thought I saw the octopus out here. Maybe not. There's a bunch of crabs. And a dead tree. <laughs> Freaked out. Yeah, the original survival horror action game called Kingsfield. So many terrifying moments. Such a great game. I wonder what's here. There's got to be something here that's going to freak me out. I can already feel it. And then I'll be trapped. I'll have to go back to that cave to get out of here. I love to watch them swim. It's pretty peaceful. Man. Alright. There, of course, is the Elden Tree. I haven't got there yet. A little higher up to help me see. On my jumpy mount. Oh, there's a fireplace over here. Hey, get over here. No bones, huh? Alright. What the frick is that? I feel like I'm going to have to pay the piper someday for killing all these guys. Oh, is that a jellyfish? Pretty sure those poison you. It's like Spongebob, sweetie. There's floating jellyfish. i got to capture them in my net. 
You want to see it? It's right here. He seems mean though. I don't want to mess with him unless he attacks me. Okay. Might as well rest. I don't think I can level up. <laughs> oh great, the Church of the Dragon Communion. Alright. Could this be a horse? I need those jelly for my Krabby Patty. Uh huh. Because it makes it better. And then everybody goes crazy over it, and then we run out of jellyfish, and then we get attacked by jellyfish. You didn't remember the episode. Okay, how do I get up there? What up, Dizzy? Just getting some. <laughs> These people with their butthole action. <sighs> Just getting some Elden Ring action in this, this morning while I can. Got another about 30 minutes to check a few things out. Ritual of Dragon Communion, that sounds neat. What in the world is this? So I need a dragon heart. So you gotta kill dragons, apparently, to get whatever this stuff is. Is it items or let's see arc looks like magic dragon magic maybe in previous games you would get uh, items that would do this so it's cool that it's an actual magic now that's one thing I didn't like about those items is that they made you wear those items instead of whatever else you're wearing to transform oh no more jellyfish is he gonna attack me I feel like I'm just gonna shoot that guy instead don't attack me. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Not kill me. Well, I don't need to kill him. They might have an item I need at some point. This is the first kind of golden message like I've seen I've seen like this. Far to the east you'll find the Cathedral of the Dragon. So that must be, you know, a non must be actually here from the developers. Far to the east, which is this way. Oh, you know what? It might just be talking about the dragon that's over here. In case you don't know it's over there. It's telling you these things. Far to the east. I better read that again, because what did it say? You'll find. Oh, okay, yeah. So that is the Cathedral of the Dragon, right somewhere around here. I don't. Know, I thought I was in the Cathedral of the Dragon, but maybe not. Praise it. Praise that tree. Oh, there's one of those guys down there. He might have smithing items, but I bet you, you die trying to get in. Somebody got up there. Nice. Exalted flesh. I feel like that's human flesh. It so is. I mean, you can cruise around on your horse and shoot a bow. It's kind of like, you know, drive bys. It's these drive bys from this time. Oh, let's go down this way. I'm trying. I don't want to fall to my death. Almost dead. You want to go swimming? I can't swim in this one. Because it, uh, you die in this one. Shoot, I didn't mean that to happen. Don't die. 
Oh no, he's gonna go down there. He's gonna get me killed. Ah, oh, you bugger. Dirty bugger. Oh, it gave it to me. Nice. Yeah, see, if you read the description, it tells you those guys really only give you flasks or something, but they're just like the newts. You want to hunt them down. I don't know how to tell the difference between the, the, the you know, the ones that do different things, but... Just kill everyone you see. Sorry, penguins. I need your corpses. Precious item, huh? So this, is, so this was the island to come to, right here. Oh yeah, I need smithing stones, I need those. You get my strength up, I, I can use the uh, lance. So I'm, I'm really trying to get good at mounted combat using the lance and the bow. It's pretty pretty OP liar I had. So we'll see how well that works. I could, could be putting it into a build that's just not going to work out for major boss fights. Because I don't think you can, uh... <laughs> exactly. I, I don't think you can use mounted combat on big boss fights. At least, not that I've seen. Because usually they're inside a building. And I don't think you can mount inside buildings. But for open world fighting, it works pretty good. Oh, hey, there's the turtle. They usually poop these, uh, golden berries you need to collect. So I don't, I don't like to kill them. Because, uh... That you don't want to kill the golden goose, you know? Well, I think we've given this island a good once over. Might be able to do one more cave area. I'll go back and take a look at one of the places that I. <laughs> From the rear. Only had a treasure chest. Might have time to do one more area that I that I was waiting to go back to to see if there was some items. It's always the one I'm like, oh, there's no items here, and then I'll go back and just be like killing things and then find something super cool, and not be recording. That's just you know the way it always works. Yeah, you need those great dragonfly heads. You sure do. What? He's pointing this way. I said it's pretty cool with the fire raining down on you. Carefully ahead. Were they trying to say there's something down here? I don't see it. You see death. Go back here, that guy's too fast. Give me a. He's gonna roll off the cliff. Give me those bones. Need to make me some fire arrows. Some fletched ones at that. Yeah. That was like top graphics. I know, it's intense how good these graphics are. Give me a little squirrel. No, not the jellyfish. It's like a kangaroo squirrel. These are like penguin something. Penguin seagulls. Do I see anything else of value here? I can't remember if I lit this. I better go light it. So we came from down here. Not <laughs> really good. A hidden artery. There's also a decent amount of stuff to farm here for if you need it. Where'd you go, little sheepy? There's a... Oh man, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a, like a hunting simulator game out that I almost got, but this game was coming out, so I was like, eh. I'll probably just hunting simulator on here, but... I always love those games. It's a newer one for PS4. It's an indie indie title. Yeah, Tomb Raider seemed realistic. Right. 
right, there's lots of these guys. I know, I feel like so I'm just a terrible person right now, right? Going around smashing these guys. Haha, <laughs> you from. Yeah, I found a cool Tomb Raider 3 embossed thing. Super cool. I did it in a pick a video. I think you guys watched it. That was like my cool score find. Didn't overpay for it. More than I wanted to pay, but hey. Okay, so I can rest here if I need to. 17, not quite enough. Alright, so where else could we go? There's something here. Oh no, that's a person. I've been there. That's the guy that tells you not to go here. We did that. That's where the mage Selena, I think her name is. So there's a treasure chest here I marked. And a fight here. So maybe we'll go here. And then I'll go check out... I thought I had another one somewhere else. I guess just there. Uh, there was a few places in here. I think I already did these. And this is where that giant I fought was. And then, yeah, that might clean us up pretty good to this point. Maybe some few other flavors. So, yeah, let's head over here. I think there's a crypt. Yeah, there is. I did wander across a crypt, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I'll, I'll save it. Yeah. I do enjoy those. They're, they're a bit... There's so much platforming, way more than I remember in those games. And, and with the older mechanics, it's tough fighting the camera. Oh, but definitely, if you're willing to put the time in, super good. Oh, dude, these guys are brutal. I want to get my lance and start fighting them. Yes. You know, I was even playing the... Oh, who said that? Help us out, Cully. Sure. Was that a goat? Was that just murder who I was trying to help out? Where's that guy? Oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to be helping out. <laughs> Get over here. I don't know who said that I was going to be helping them. You guys see anybody? When you find these herds, you have to kill them. I've noticed that... Yeah, you there. Who? Stop pretending you can't see me. Dude, I can't see you. Do you see anybody? Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm, I'm not that ugly, am I? Is it this tree? Wanna attack? Oh, there we go. What you go and do that for? <laughs> oh, this yes. guy's cool. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Well, then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right, but I'll need... I'm... I'm frightened. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Right. But I'm... All right, well, that was interesting. Scared off my damn sheep. Where was I going? 
That's cool. I guess I have to come back to that guy and maybe he'll get me items. Just like the movie. Oh, okay, I went the wrong way. But yeah, what I was saying is that uh, they're the newer one, Shadows of the Tomb Raider, I think, on PS4. Actually pretty good, but still, still super hard, man. The platforming is crazy in that. Even with the newer mechanics, it's, it's tough. found a use for those yet, but if I do... Where's the supposed treasure chest? Why did I mark a treasure chest here? That's the question. Maybe it's messing up my markers? Just try oh, okay, I think I know why now. Yeah. Here, Wolfie, Wolfie. Hunting me down. Was that a big black wolf? Too? I don't know. This guy looks pissed. Maybe this is it. The treasure made the yeah in the fort. So I'm gonna go in here. I don't think I've been in here quite yet. Okay, I think I see it. Sniper spot from up here. Damn, this thing is freaking hard to control. Guy? No, you have old games. Uh, old games? Yeah. What are you talking about? Of course I have old games. Okay, so yeah, there is a purple drop in there I need to go get. this thing boost fire damage negation that's right that's what we got so we got that drop from that boss <laughs> want to sniper this guy kind of the annoying thing about those messages they're kind of popping up everywhere should have lit this guy on fire I wonder if that guy can even get up here. I guess I don't want to aggro too many mobs at once. I should be able to pick those arrows up if I shot them into the freaking ground. Oh, are you leaving those messages? Why can I not hit that guy? Yeah, he's pissed now, huh? Can't 
can't really get a good angle on that. I can shoot this dog. It's always fun to snipe for people down. Oh man, totally missed that. Horseback guy's coming. He might be able to avoid fighting him. Oh, you really think you can get up here, huh? I might as well piss this guy off too, right? How you like that? Are you so pissed? That'll really piss him off. Damn it. Did this remind you of uh, Robin Hood Defender of the Crown, just picking dudes off in Sherwood? <laughs> I guess this is just, well, the guy. Actually, that guy on the horse is a beast. I don't want to go get jacked up by him. Finish him off. Oh, no, he wants one more. Ah! Shot it right into the ground. All right, sucker. All right, let's go. Achoo. I guess no one's coming. Great flick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that that could be a thing. That I, uh... I killed that guy. I usually kill their horse. Or I was like, oh, I didn't kill his horse. And this other dude jumped on it. That was pretty wild. Oh, you know, jumping attack me. Damn, that guy's a savage. Oh, great. And I'm going to aggro his other buddy. Oh, great. I don't know how to kick with my horse. That seems pretty badass, though. Oh, shit. Get out of there. I definitely don't want to be fighting two of these guys. Oh shit, he got me with that. Oh. See, I could get down and fight him off my horse, but he's a beast, dude. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Forget that mess. You need to? You need me to deal with that, babe? Oh, baby. Good job. Now take that, wolf camp. Should just be able to step on those and break them, right? Horse driver. Oh, can I talk to you? Oh, apparently, he was so terrified, he didn't know what to do. Oh shit! A dismounter. I wonder if he always has that, or if it was some kind of ro uh, random drop, or what. 
That's what's up, though. Alright, the armorer's cookbook, all sorts of good stuff in this, in this little camp. I'm glad that I found it. One thing I'm super glad they didn't do in this game, because this game is actually very similar to Mortal Shell in a lot of ways. I'm super glad they didn't put bear traps all over the ground. That shit was irritating. Oh, rolling. You gotta, you gotta break it all. There's some angry giant in the background somewhere. Alright. So I got... What do we got? Oh, that might be it. I got one more camp. So I can take... Is this where it just was? Better go double check before I take that marker off. Kind of hard to tell on the map. No. So, okay. I think that's what this marker was here. What the hell is this treasure chest that's over here? I don't know, I think I'm messing with myself. I guess I'll leave it on there for now. I'll come back and check it out another time to verify that there's not a treasure chest here. I might have put this here because that's where the wagon was passing by. Maybe this is where I was going to fight the wagon. I just don't know. I did not have that markered properly. I'm going to go with it. It's shifting my markers around. Not that I unmarked it. I didn't marker it properly. Because... I guess that was it. So let's fight this camp. That's done. And then, I don't know, I gotta go figure out that treasure chest right there. See what the hell's in there. Well, let's see if there's anything else we can check out real quick. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. It does feel a lot like, uh... It does feel a lot like Breath of the Wild. It's actually making me really want to play through it. I feel like this is a little bit more my style. I, I like Zelda games and Nintendo and stuff, but, you know, it's just a different kind of, uh... vibe. I haven't been hit by one of these yet, and I don't plan on it. But you get you can get some lightning flowers there, I guess. Well, I might as well take out these wolves here because I don't know if they're guarding anything. I've been saving fighting these guys, so let's get them. That'll be the end of it. Yeah, it's like clubbing baby seals in a barrel. So much fun. Yeah, exactly. And just the, just the level of Darkness, you know, like the. Oh shit. Yeah, the, just the storyline and. <laughs> the lightning field there might be better. Oh no, the white wolf brought a friend. I'm gonna die. Woo! That was me. Get you, sucker. You calling more? Oh, you pissed? Did I kill your friend? Well, of course, I missed so many times about his stamina. Alright. <laughs> Dodgeball. Dude, I didn't. Did you ever end up? How did the end of that stream go? I should go back and check that out. We did dinner, and then it just ended up getting kind of crazy afterwards.
So those wolves were really not guarding anything that I can tell. There's just a bunch of jerkish wolves if you fly by. Oh, look at that. So maybe there was something here. Maybe I already grabbed it, but that looks like the kind of body that would have had something on it. Maybe New Game Plus? If there is such a thing in this. Oh, is this another one of those ones? I thought I turned it on already. This was something I found in a different stream. Okay, so you have to turn it on probably each time you cycle the thing. But you can, uh... Look at those bears. I don't know what that does, bro. Of course. Oh, those bears. No idea what that does. Anyhow. I'll have to go back and see what this is all about. Maybe it's underground. Ah, uh, never did the no death. Nice, man. I know you got yeah one level. That's those damn red guys. Oh man, I can't hit them. Look carefully, Grace ahead. Oh yeah, I already found that one. I think. Yeah, that's the one. So I don't know what this statue does. Can't remember if that's the same one I turned on or if that's a different one. Anyhow, that seems as good a place to stop as any. We cleared out some caves, we cleared out some camps. Appreciate you guys coming by. Easy, busy, anybody else dropping in and out. This is an awesome game. If you guys want to keep coming back and checking us back here on Brothers Forge Gaming, we're going to be clearing through it. Eventually I'll get to the point where I start progressing the story, but for now I'm having just so much fun. Killing everything, exploring, finding different pieces of gear, crafting, crafting notes. Actually, let's go take a look and see what we were able to craft with our new notebook. I think this one here. Temporary fire negation. Yeah, man. Have a great Sunday. I'll give you a call here in a little bit, man. Are you going to be around? So basically more stuff with fire. I think is what we got for that. What we got for that uh, notebook we found. I think we found this one. <laughs> Land squirts. <laughs> Sound like a recipe I want. Alright, brother. So let's a look at the stuff we've bought, found so far, the books, the different cookbooks and things. I have no idea what this painting does yet, but we did find that somewhere. And then you can find area maps. I figured out that's what colors in the map. So these places here, I haven't found the area maps for. Um, but that's why this one is. It's got this beautiful color to it. And uh, so I need to find some more map fragments to really get this thing completed and going. But alright, yeah. Thanks for stopping in, hanging out with us while we grind out some levels, clear some caves, get some items, and do all that fun stuff. And like I said, come on back, check us back here for more of Brothers Forge Gaming.